In 2018, we published a paper uh, with my group where we created a mouse model uh, that recapitulates this big 3 c alpha related to the growth syndrome. And we identified a drug uh, that was called at that time BYL719, and that is now called Alpelizib, as a very promising candidate. I mean, in the mouse model, it was able to reverse the disease and to greatly improve the mice. And based on this data, we were allowed to treat a cohort of 19 patients in France using a specific compassionate use program with alpelizib. And we treated pediatric and adult patients, and these 19 patients were improved uh, by the treatment with, I would say, a low rate of adverse events. So this was not a, uh, a clinical trial, but this was a cohort of 19 patients having a compassionate use program. It's not a randomized control trial as we uh, usually see. Once we published this paper, uh, it was in June 2018, this was published in Nature, we were bombarded of emails from patients from all over the world. Really, from I, I had no idea that uh, this paper would have such impact uh, uh, for this community. And I had, had no idea about the number of patients that were living with that kind of condition. Just to give you an idea, we received more than 4,000 emails in a month. So now we have uh, we have seen plenty, plenty of patients. So we had to we had to reorganize our structure here at Nikkei. So we are seeing patients from all over the world, uh, including patients from US, the United States, and um, we are seeing between six and twelve patients per day and approximately one third of them are new patients. So just to give you an idea about the number of patients uh, uh, that uh, exist with that kind of condition. Since we had all these patients, we went to see Novartis, the owner of the drug, Alpelizib, to see how we, can, we could move forward and see how we, can, we could prepare maybe a clinical trial or something else. Novartis went to see the FDA <laughs> in 2019, and they proposed to do a retrospective chart review of the first 57 patients ever treated in the world with this drug and having a, a PROS, x 3 c alpha related to syndrome. And the FDA agreed with that, saying that they, they would be interested to uh, have that kind of data and maybe to consider a future application. So we have designed with uh, Novartis this retrospective chart review. At Necare, we had treated initially 19 patients, but of course we had more and more patients and we were uh, allowed to treat only patients that were in very poor condition. So at that time we had 44 patients at our seat, but other physicians started also to use this drug in other countries, in the US, in Australia, in Ireland, elsewhere. And we contacted all these centers and we uh, collected the clinical information, radiological information, biological information. Everything was collected by Novartis and examined independently by a CRO, an independent CRO in the US, to check the uh, improvement or not of the different symptoms that this patient are complaining about fatigue, pain, um, as, uh, as um, overgrowth asymmetry, I would say. Uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation and so on. And also to uh, check the MRI of this patient before and following drug introduction. In fact, when we started the drug here in our patient, in order to have hard measure, hard objective, things to really uh, uh, measure and, 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 and to follow over time, we had photography, we had biologic, biological things, but we wanted to have some hard endpoints in our compassionate use program. So we did MRI prior to drug introduction and six months later. And most of the groups elsewhere did the same thing. So Novartis collected these different imaging and reanalyzed the MRI from all the patients uh, uh, independently, and they found that 37.5 of this of this patient had at least 20% reduction in the volume of one or several malformation, and 74.7, if I'm correct, 
percent of this patient had an, an improvement on another malformation in terms of volume. And all the patients had symptoms improvement. So all these data, finally, were demonstrating the same thing as we observed in our initial cohort of 19 patients. These data were submitted to the FDA that considered them positively. Then we had an FDA inspection on site at NECAR at the beginning of February. We had the FDA inspectors for two weeks. They have checked everything, medical records, imaging, biology. They went to the pharmacy. Uh, they checked everything. And then one week after their uh, uh, inspection, we received a letter saying that our, our data were cleaned, uh, objective, reliable, and true. And so this led to the FDA approval. So this is an accelerated procedure. This means that we need to confirm with uh, additional data in the next few years. And other agencies, like the EMA or other agencies elsewhere, are considering this data, but they need to have a randomized control trial. So we have designed in parallel what we call the EPIC P2 clinical trial, where you have a group that is treated with placebo and another one that is treated with alpelizib. And the primary endpoint for this population is a reduction of at least 20% at least of the mass at six months uh, following drug introduction. So this is more a classical way to do a clinical trial, but that was challenging because again, even if we are seeing plenty of patients, this is still a rare disease. And so all these patients, again, do not have the same clinical presentation. So it's hard to consider them all in the same way for a clinical trial. Of course, an hemimeganencephaly or a macrodactyly will not respond to the same extent to a patient with a vascular malformation. So that's uh, how we uh, were able to obtain this FDA approval. It was challenging, of course, but uh, 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 super exciting. And I would say that uh, we were super proud because, uh, again, when we think about the, the, the last few years, I mean, we published that in 2018 and four years later, this was approved in the US for adult, but also the pediatric population. So that's uh, uh, a very nice accomplishment for, for us and for the artists also. It's 